everybody, this is Chris Schmidt from Rocket Lasso, and I've got a little experiment here. The idea is to try and do a mini tutorial, maybe sort of a quick tip, although it might still be a couple minutes long. If you like this format, please let me know and I can make more of these in the future. Let's jump on in and play with pivots. Here we are inside of Cinema 4D. I've got this simple little pipe set up, nice and clean. Now, let's say I want to rotate all of these pipes to be vertical instead of where they currently are. So I could click this axis, rotate, hold down shift to snap it to even 90 degree increments, hit E for move, move it around, try and get it to the very precise spot. Maybe even holding down shift, I could snap it okay there. I'm not sure that that is entirely in the right spot, but it kind of got there. Instead of that, let's undo. Same process again from scratch. Select all the objects I want to rotate, but you'll see that my current axis is at the average of all of the selected objects. But you can also see we have four different axes showing up, some small ones. Those are all the different axes of the objects that we selected. What we can do is select any one of those and our current axis will jump to that one as the pivot point. Nothing else has changed. We haven't edited any objects. The only thing that updated was where we're going to pivot from. So now if I hit R for rotate, I can pivot directly from that spot right there, holding down shift, I can snap up 90 degrees. Easy as that. Let's add a couple of extra objects in there and say that I want to pivot from somewhere else. We've got all the different axes everywhere. We could pivot from the same spot if we wanted to, that's still remembering that one. I could spin that down. Alternatively, I could select the original average point. I guess we'll jump it over to here. Rotate that, holding down shift, I can rotate that 90 degrees. You can see how quickly we can move all of those around and create additional additional places to pivot from. It just is so much quicker to control. And extending this pipe layout, I could select a couple more here, copy and paste all those, select that as the pivot point, and spin that straight down or off to the side. Now I've got that, you know, well, now it's rotated properly. That's exactly where I want it. I just have this extra box that was giving me a place to pivot from. I can delete that one so there's not two in the same spot. And I was able to create more of those. So you can see how quick we could move around and manipulate these as a group. That is a nice application for this. Here is another, perhaps even more useful one. And this is kind of where I use it most of all, is in character animation. I've got one of my robot characters here. He's all ready to animate. He's got some really nice rigs in here. I can move him around and he's got a lot of control. Now I already prepped this a little bit in that I moved the hand onto the cylinder. So that's where he wants to pivot from. Let's say he was going to jump and kind of do a kind of a cartwheel over this thing. Instead of manually moving all these different pieces to that spot, I can just pivot from where the hand is. Now, I actually don't want the hand to rotate, so I'm going to make this even easier on myself by selecting that hand control and creating a null where that would have been. So hold down Control, create a null, and that'll automatically make a null as a sibling of that control and in the exact same spot in rotation. With that done, I'm going to select every control of this character and deselect the wrist that I want to pivot from and make sure that I have that null, which I do. And you can see we have all the different axis of every center of every control everywhere. Hitting the R for rotation, I can click on the axis on the hand to become my pivot point, And I can spin the entire character to move to this new location based on where that hand is. Now that's pretty good for there. But now maybe I want to move the body from its point. So I'll click on the axis point of the body, hit E for move, and everything will move based off of that one. R for rotate, everything will pivot based off of that one. I can spin him around and get him a little bit more in the position that he might be cartwheeling off of that, all letting these pivot from where we want them to be. And from there, I've got a nice bit of control. Go and select a couple other things, scoot the legs. And at this point, it's just doing your character animation. Grab any little bit position everything as you want. Anything can pivot based on any other object selecting more than one. And it was nice and simple and clean. That null I made can be deleted. I also could have just selected the original wrist control and just re-rotated it back or not keyframe that one so it popped back in that spot. But it's really nice to be able to pivot from a particular spot. We know the hand is where we want, but we don't have to go and manipulate the hierarchy, make things a child of a null and rotate it from that point. We can just pivot from any axis. That concludes this little experiment. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, please let me know below. It will influence what type of tutorials I will make in the future. Now, be sure to tune in to the weekly Rocket Lasso live stream where I answer questions live from Twitch and from YouTube. It's really fun. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial a week from now. And that should wrap this up. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye.